sometimes Apple comes up with a clever and unique way to make using the iPad really handy. And I like that because if I have to click all over the place to make something happen, I'm just not going to do it. Hi, my name is Rich. I make simple videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad, you know, without going nuts. Nothing complex here. I leave those videos to other YouTubers. My videos are usually short and to the point, and if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please consider subscribing. Because unlike your cable subscription, subscribing to my channel is free. Okay, in today's short tutorial, I'm going to show you not only how you can customize your iPad Control Center using iPad OS 18, but how I've customized it to suit me. Okay, let's get started. Okay, you're probably familiar with Control Center. Control Center is just a, a way to control your iPad or get quick access to little functions on your iPad that would be otherwise sort of hard to do. And to get to Control Center, all you do is you just swipe down from the top right like that. And you'll see, you know, a bunch of stuff like this, and then maybe you can swipe up and stuff like that, and then just keep going, and there's kind of stuff here. And you can you know, adjust the volume of your iPad, you can adjust the brightness of the screen, things like that. In the past, to customize this was kind of a chore, but with iPad OS 18, um, it's pretty easy. So let me show you how to do this and how I do it. And the first thing I want to do is just clean everything out and start from scratch. So I'm going to just press and hold, and you'll notice these kind of come alive and I got these little round circular thingies down here and then a minus up there. So I'm just going to start getting rid of them. I'm not going to get rid of screen brightness and volume because I always use those, but I don't even know what these others are. So I'm just going to get rid of them by tapping along like that until everything is just gone. And then I'm going to start putting back the things that I want. Let's see if I slide down. I don't want any of this stuff. And then I'll get rid of that too. And I don't know if you can see this on screen, but there are little circles right in here. And that, these are things that you can fill in with functions for your iPad. So now I've got Control Center completely cleaned out. And if you just swipe down, all you'd have is screen brightness and volume control. But I want to add back some functions that I use. And of course, you can add back almost any function that you can think of, particularly if you use shortcuts. Um, I'm not going to get into shortcuts, though I'm going to add a few to my control center and show you how I use them. But think about this as you think about how you use your iPad and just add in the stuff that makes sense to you. Okay, I'm now I'm going to customize it. I'm simply going to swipe down and I'm going to press and hold in here until I see those things. And now I'm going to add a control. And I just tap on Add a Control down at the bottom. And now I've just got this whole big long list of things that I can add in here. So I think I'm going to add um, a quick note. I like those. Here it is. I'm going to tap and add it there. Now, for me, I don't I can tell what screen brightness and volume is because I got a something that looks like a volume thing and a little sun right there so that makes sense to me I guess that little note icon can kind of make sense but I often forget what those things really are for so that's why I take this little handle right here on the bottom this sort of half circle thing and you can just stretch it out and now you can see what it is and it just says quick note and I leave all of mine at least this size so that I can, you know, figure out what they are. So I think I'm going to add maybe um, another control. And you can search for controls up here. I'm going to search for focus. And I'm going to add that. So now I've got my brightness, my volume, a quick note, and focus. And I think I'm going to add Stage Manager, too, because I use that from time to time. Right there it is. But again, I'll forget what that is, so I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. And I think I'm going to add a shortcut, too, because I like to listen to music on this. So I'm going to add Shortcut. 
And now it's going to ask me what shortcut I want. So I've already created some shortcuts in the Shortcut app. If you don't know how to do that, I'll include a link to a video that I made on how to use shortcuts uh, in the description below. But I'm going to tap on Choose. And I think I'm going to choose my Smooth Jazz. I created a shortcut where if I just tap on it, Smooth Jazz, I can just listen to that music and I kind of like that. So I've got that there and then now I want to be able to play and pause that because sometimes I just don't want to listen to it. So I'm going to add a control and I'm going to add another shortcut and I'm going to choose that shortcut and I think it's called play pause. There it is. And now I've got everything the way I want it. But you can move these around too. So if I move this down here, you can do it that way in any way that you want. And that kind of makes sense to me. So now when I swipe down to control center, I have just the things I want. So I can turn on stage manager. I can choose a focus mode from here. So now I've got a bunch. If I want my YouTube focus mode, it changes. Entertainment, my journal focus mode, my productivity focus mode. And I created a video on how to use focus modes. And I'll include that also in a link below. And if you want to turn off a of focus mode, you just go back into it and just tap on it. And now I'm back to my regular one. If I want to listen to smooth jazz, I can just tap on that and it starts playing and I can hit play pause and stop it just like that. If I want to make a quick note really fast I can just open this and tap on quick note and now I get the ability to write on a quick note if I've got my Apple Pencil with me. And you can put all different kinds of things in here. Um, if I go back down and I tap and I press there's a section right here a little round circle you can tap on that and now you're taken to another screen and I'm going to add a control here and I think I'm going to add my music stuff over here so I'll just scroll through here until I get music and now I've got music right there so now you see a little heart for your favorites and you can tap on that and go back to where we were or you can tap on the little music icon and now you've got the little music popping up there and of course it's just that simple and the whole idea around Control Center is that you can just gain access to these little functions that the iPad will do in a very simple fashion. And it's a very powerful tool. I encourage you to just sort of go through here, tap and hold, click on Add Control, and start going through all of these uh, different things that are in here that you can put. I just think they're. I just think it's just really awesome. You can put home controls, shortcuts. You can put utilities like your magnifying glass in there, hearing accessibility, vision, all different kinds of functions that can go in there. And with the addition of shortcuts, you can really customize Control Center to do exactly what you want it to do. Just so powerful. Give it a try. So that wasn't too hard. And customizing Control Center to your liking will make using your iPad so much better. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.